What's up y'all, it's your girl Nikki G, the host, and today I have recorded this video at least seven times, right? And every time I try something different, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna come to them like this. Y'all, my ex exposing me. I just can't believe this. Y'all, I'm absolutely flabbergasted. Y'all, have you ever been with somebody for six years and they make it seem like you never was there for them ever? When you was the main one there? Then I, I had moments where I was, I was angry, I was emotional, I was all of these things. And then I decided, you know what? Be yourself. Say how you really feel. That's what I'm gonna do. So I want to welcome y'all to the story of me and my ex. Now, in this story, I'm not gonna tell y'all what happened with us because I'm gonna give you a whole animated story time for that. The petty levels of what actually happened to get us to this point is beyond me. I mean, it's absolutely above me now. You get what I'm saying? But I'm gonna go here. Some of y'all may know my ex, some of y'all don't. Some of y'all started watching this channel from went to New York. It was a time before that. Me and my ex were together doing pranks, challenges, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to give you a rundown of where we came from, our background and things like that. <clears throat> you know, I'm trying to help her be this, 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 this great YouTuber, this great personality to show her personality. So I wanted us to be on YouTube so we could do that. I wanted her to feel like um, she had friends because she never had friends. I wanted her to feel special i wanted her to feel liked and i knew people would like her personality especially in the pranks if the pranks were more so on her side now if you haven't noticed and you go look back at all the pranks they were more so on her side you said take yours you sacrificed me yourself i appreciated Yo, that yeah. hey, I'm trying to work woman happy father's day like you told you i sure father. did i bet you did you he my baby dad get the it's a prank it's a so you don't want to be my friend at all? Nope. So yeah, how about that? Oh. Hey, it's so it's just... Oh. oh no! 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 I wanted to do the DK4L uh, pranks and challenges, couples channel thing. Shine bright like a diamond. Fire light in the beautiful sea. I choose to be happy. You and I. We're like diamonds in the sky. You're a shooting star. I see. To see when you hold me, I'm alive. We're like diamonds in the sky. I knew that we become all right away, all right away. At first sight, I felt the energy of some rays. I saw the light inside. Like diamonds in the sky, you're a shooting star. I see vision of ecstasy when 
you hold me, I'm alive We're like diamonds in the sky I knew that we'd be gone All right away I saw the life inside Yeah, I just You and I We're beautiful like diamonds in the sky I put her out there to show her personality. I wanted her to know that people loved her because she don't, she didn't think they did, right? Um, she never had friends. She really, still don't have friends. Um, and you know, when I met her, she was just all alone. Um, and I fell for that. <clears throat> I was like, you know, I, I want to, I want to make her feel special. It was just something I felt that I needed to do, right? Now, <clears throat> in the midst of this, trying to do YouTube with a, a person that you are in a relationship with is very hard. I commend DK4L, for real. Um, it is very, very hard to do, especially when y'all not on the same page. We weren't on the same page. I branch out, I take over the channel. We can't get along. You don't wanna work, I wanna work. You work a job, that, that's your thing. I need this income. I want this income because I want to be able to take care of us and I know I can do that. I know that I can get that done for us. So that's what I did. Went out to New York, got the best, the best, best uh, deal of my life with uh spicy management i still thank you spicy management for doing what you did also uh queen clarence and my guy um i went out there made something uh of myself you know did a prank on them and they helped a lot so after that my whole life changed everything changed I was in green light. I was on in go mode, you know, <clears throat> and in doing so, things started to change after that. Anyway, it was already feeling like it was a, you know, neglect, so to speak, because I was more focused on working on my craft and doing YouTube than I was in this relationship. But not only that, when you are the person who has to come up with the ideas you have to come up with. Let's just go with everything, baby. Everything. After a while, it tends to, to put wear and tear on you, to put wear and tear on your brain, wear and tear on your body. You get what I'm saying? And after a while, that's what it was for me. I mean, God, you want me to tell you where to eat, where to go, how to do it, where to do it. I mean, what's, what, what, what was left for me? It was nothing left for me. Y'all want to know why we broke up. Let's go there. I broke up with her because of toxicity. We've been together for six years. If I'm exaggerating, five. 2013, you do the math. Today, you decide to take personal business of what we went through in our relationship and share it with the internet. I am absolutely flabbergasted. <clears throat> More so than flabbergasted, I'm disappointed <laughs> that you would go so low, you know, to, I guess, make me look like this person that you want to play me out to be, right? Now, let's go here. I'm not perfect. Oh, hell no. I'm not. I'm far from. In, six, in a six-year span, do you know how much you could do wrong? In a six year span. Some things she said was true. Some things she said was false. Y'all decide. Whatever you want. 
But you know, I already told you, if you believe her, you a fool too, right? <clears throat> In a six year span, it's a possibility for anything to happen. I spent 365 days with you times six, sis. And so we're human, right? The things that we went through in our relationship was our business. Not for the world to see. And y'all wondering why I'm coming to this, this, this platform today to tell you what was going on in my relationship when I already told y'all that I wouldn't do that, right? But the whole point was to tell y'all, I'm not gonna tell you why we broke up, I would never do that. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I am gonna tell you why. I said, I'm not gonna do that. You don't get on the internet and expose or defame or degrade somebody who once was there for you, hand and foot. Somebody that you were in love with. Cause I mean, therefore you, baby, you just sound bitter. You get what I'm saying? Now, we have had our back and forths. We've gone on, I've, mm -mm, I'm gonna speak for me. I've had my back and forths with going on live and um, saying things back because I am just shocked <laughs> that she would come to this internet and expose anything that we went through in our household. You get what I'm saying? That's crazy to me. But you can play that game. You can have that. Cause I'm still not gonna do that. That's just absolutely, that's so low and so bitter and so distasteful that I cannot, I cannot share that with you. You get what I'm saying? Even if it gives me light, I can't share that with you. So anything that you've done and all the bull girl that I went through with you, that I could share with the world, I'm gonna keep to myself. That'll be my gem for me because I know why we broke up. You know why we broke up. I know why I no longer will let you take any energy from me. You get what I'm saying? I gave you so much energy, girl. Everything was coming out of me while I was giving it to you. And now today you can be, <laughs> Miss, <laughs> I gave you that confidence, baby. I gave it to you and I'm so glad that you have that today because you're able to survive. I wanted to teach her how to survive is what I want because I know how to survive. You get what I'm saying? If I don't know how to do nothing right, survival is what I can do. <clears throat> so we went through all that, you know what I'm saying? Um, relationship stuff, I still want to expose. And the other day we had a situation where I simply wanted to pay a bill. Right? Y'all wondering why we're here. You're gonna have to pay attention to the next video. But we're here because of that. I got exposed with, I guess, personal information to the following that we have shared um, to make it look like I'm the bad guy. You know what? I'll take the bad guy. Let you be Miss Innocent. You got it, baby, if that's what you want. If everybody gotta hate me, for you to be happy. Y'all hear how that sound? Girl. <laughs> Throughout this entire relationship, I gave you everything I had. Before we broke up, I told her, I've given you all that I got to give. Girl, I can't give you no more. Or ain't gonna be no more me. I can't give you no more. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I can't give you no more. It, it, it. It won't, it won't, I won't have nothing left. Have y'all noticed that at one point we was up and now it's looking like I don't have anything left? Follow me. A, I'm alone. Completely. I have great, a great team around me. But for the most part, I'm alone. I'm moving back and forth. This apartment, that apartment. Uh, I'm moving from Atlanta to Charlotte. I'm, it's a lot that's looking like I'm a little out of whack. Right? But baby girl got somewhere where she could go. She daddy's daddy's angel. She can go there and and and, and live rent free and um you know pay the car payment and the car insurance and the phone bill and be able to survive and have way more clarity than me because I'm over here cleaning up what was messed up when I was giving you all of that. You get what I'm saying? 
Y'all, I took care of <laughs> everything, everything. But this is not about finances. I took care of everything to the point where it was your mental, your health, practicing on your wealth. You follow me? This is my point. <clears throat> Up to this point, I have treated you like a pure queen. We have had our ups and downs. That's what happens in relationships. It's nothing you can say to me that'll make me feel bad for what we have gone through the past six years. I had to grow. You had to grow. We fought. Uh, you know, we helped each other. We paid bills together. All of that. We can't even take that from each other. But in the process of all that, I treated you like a queen. That's something you will never, ever be able to take away from me. And you know that. But you could play this little facade and, and act as if, you know, you queen ding a -ling and, and and you did all this by yourself. Cool. You got that. But I will say this. I still have enough respect to not expose you for the fraud you really are. That's something I'm going to keep to myself. I know... Y'all out there, y'all want that. Y'all want to know the fraud she really is. I'd rather not share that. You know what I'm saying? I, I'd rather keep that shit to myself. For me. But I tell you what. Y'all wanted to know why we broke up? That's why. You want to know the rest? Stay tuned.